Joe Burrow going into his final season last week represented LSU at SEC Media Day. He stopped by off the bench two weeks ago. T-Bob and I were talking about just kind of the, the cool and quiet confidence that Burrow kind of carries himself with heading into his senior season. Seems a lot more relaxed and comfortable here in South Louisiana going into his final season. His old man, Jimmy Burrow, former uh, defensive coordinator and safeties coach over there at, the, uh, at Ohio University, uh, taking off of football here for the first time in 30-plus years. Not going to be on the sideline. Going to have an opportunity to watch his son play every game. We talked to Joe about that a couple of weeks back, how fired up he was. And, uh, and I know you are too, man. I know that uh, you got to be getting antsy as, uh, as football season is, uh, is approaching here. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to the season. Uh, I knew I'd miss, I'd miss coaching, the, the interaction with, with the players and, and the other coaches. But, uh, you know, it was done to, to be able to go see Joe play. And, and so it's all good. I've had the freedom to, to do some different things this summer. And, and uh, my wife and I and, and, and our whole family, uh, we're excited to, to be able to go to every game, trying to get flights and hotels and i'm not used to that but it's a, it's a fun thing <laughs> can, can you speak to his his comfort level coach because it, last year he was telling the stories look he was just trying to learn his teammates names he was learn, trying to learn the culture of south louisiana uh trying to get you know become comfortable within the heat and the humidity and, and he also was trying to win the job uh and now he he's everybody we talk to whether it's ogeron joe brady ensminger Mickey Joseph, they all say it's Joe's team. Can, can yeah. you feel how comfortable he is going into the year? Yeah, it's, it's so different uh, now than, than this time last year. I mean, he's always been a, uh, a confident person, uh, but really, uh, if you think back, he, he hadn't proven that he could play uh, major college football. Uh, everybody at Ohio State thought he could, and, and we thought he could, but uh, – he hadn't really been in, in big time games, and then once once he was accepted by his teammates last summer and and uh, started the season and and they started having success, you know the confidence uh, grew and 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 he knew that uh, uh, the decision he'd made was was a good one. Now he's uh, you know he he loves his teammates and and his coaches and and Coach O, and it just all adds up to. To, to him, him being very comfortable in, in the situation that he is now, and and uh, and even more, as I said, confidence than than I've really seen him in a long time. Uh, and we're talking to Joe Burrow's father, Jimmy Burrow, longtime football coach. And uh, what's it like? Not not from the coach's angle, but from the father perspective. Because uh, when we went to SEC Media Day, all the national media, everybody, everybody's very excited for Joe Burrow for the potential of Burrow. In year number two, being very like glowing, effusive in their praise. What's it like as a father hearing all of these pundits, these sports talk people talk so positively about your son? Well, it's it's it, uh, it's great to hear that, but it, it does make me a little a little nervous because uh, you know the expectations are, are so high for for not just Joe but the whole LSU football team. I know they're they're confident, but uh, the way. The way he handled himself in that media day, and and even Grant and and Lloyd, you know, it says a lot about uh, LSU football and, and Coach O. And and uh, uh, we were down in Florida, and and the whole family was was gathered around the TV. That was kind of our afternoon. We came in from from the beach just to, to watch all that, and and it kind of makes you nervous though as a, as a dad to, to see him in front of all those people. But uh, he handled it well, and we're proud of it. Talking to Jimmy Burrow here on Off the Bench, and uh, we were at SEC Media Days, Jimmy, and I felt like an evangelical preacher going around trying to sell people on this new LSU offense that it's finally going to be modernized. It's finally going to be updated. Uh, what 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 are your thoughts on, on the new system that LSU's put in this offseason? Well, I think it's great. Uh, uh, you know, I was down there for, for a, a week of spring ball, and, and I saw it in person. Uh, the, the coaches are very confident about uh, the schemes that they're using, and and I think you've heard Joe say uh, that that really it's it's more up in, more in in his wheelhouse as, yeah. as far as what he's done uh, in, in the past. In in high school, he never was under center. I think in third grade, maybe maybe fourth grade, <laughs> uh, he he was under center. That was a long time ago. I think I saw him run a quarterback sneak 
once in his life for about 70 yards when he was in third grade. But uh, <laughs> that, that's a long time ago. But they're all confident. And uh, as a defensive coordinator, watching what they were doing in the spring, I, I know it's going to uh, it's going to be tough for for uh, uh, defenses to to defend. And uh, they're they're all excited about it at this point. And one of the names that's constantly being talked about, Jimmy, is uh, Steve Ensminger's right hand man, Joe Brady, the young offensive mind brought in from the Saints. Has has Joe talked to you? Has Joe Burrow, your son, talked to you about Brady at all uh, this, this spring and summer? Yeah, I mean, he's Joe was is uh, excited about the relationship between Joe and, and Coach Ensminger because uh, you know there's a there's a pretty big difference in in their in their age and yeah. joe just marvels at, at how well they work together and and that's never a given when when uh, uh you, you get two people uh and that that's separated by age that it doesn't always work that way but it sounds like it's been great uh joe's confident about uh what's what's happening with with joe and uh before uh uh, my son Joe even got to, to see Joe Brady at uh, JT Barrett, who's one of the, my son uh, Joe's closest friends, had called uh, Joe and said, "Hey, you're you're going to love this guy." And that was before uh, Joe had, had met Coach Brady, and you know it it panned out that way. He thinks he's great. Uh, sounds like the relationship with all the offensive coaches and Coach O is is what they had hoped. And as I said, that's. You can never guarantee that, but it's it's worked out uh, according to what I hear and what Joe said. Yeah, I didn't think about that. So, JT Barrett, it was with the Saints when Brady was there, so he had a little insight. Very that is cool. cool. Coach Jimmy Burrow joining us here. When 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 uh, when JT uh, called uh, Joe and 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 told him that, uh, you know that 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 sold uh, uh, Joe right away because he respects JT Barrett so much and their friends and and uh, uh, once he said, hey. You're, you're going to love this guy, and he, he's he's great. Knows a lot about the, uh, you know, the offense and and the, the passing game. That sold Joe, and and it it proved out to to be correct uh, uh, too. So that was good. Jimmy Burrow joining us here off the bench, ESPN New Orleans, Baton Rouge, and Alexandria. He's on Twitter at Coach Burrow. Um, you're a safeties coach and defensive coordinator uh, for Ohio University for a long time. You mentioned Delpit going with Joe last week to SEC Media Days. What do you make of this LSU defensive backfield? Well, it's as good as I've ever seen. And, and uh, I, I I was in the Pac-10 for, for years, and and uh, I was at Iowa State and, and uh, uh, Nebraska. So I've seen a lot of good ones. And, uh, you know, it, 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 at least it looks at this point like it's one of, the, one of the better ones that they've had at LSU, and it's definitely one of the best that I've seen. So... Uh, anytime you you have multiple uh, athletes like that in the secondary, you know you can do a lot. Uh, I've known Dave Aranda for for a long time, way back when he was at the University of Hawaii, and and I know uh, that he's excited to to put those guys in positions to to do a lot of different things, and that's that's great if you if you have the personnel to to do it, and and he does. They can play man. Uh, they can play zone. It looks like guys like Grant are great pass rushers, and uh, you know that's that's a, that's what a defensive coordinator is, is certainly looking for to be able to to put the right pieces out there to do a lot of different things. And and Dave's very smart, and uh, you know he's going to utilize those those guys uh, in a lot of different ways. Joe's been pretty outspoken, and he talked a little bit about it with us here on Off the Bench. He was asked about it last week at Media Day, just about the the state of the NCAA. From a from an ex coach and, and or from a coach's standpoint, and I guess from a dad standpoint, what advice do you give him from from a just what just in in his voice um, and the way he uses it? Well, I, I I'm I'm proud that he that he you know feels like that uh, uh, he can do that. Uh, I I get a little nervous, and and I do tell him to just make sure that he that he thinks something out before he. He uh, pushes the send button on on Twitter or something like that because uh, uh, you know you just want to make sure that you're you're not offending anybody. You're not uh, uh, pushing uh, somebody's wrong button when 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 you do that. But uh, he's pretty knowledgeable about that because he's heard me uh, uh, talk about it. He's he's grown up uh, listening to conversations about the NCAA and about college football. So he's. Uh, uh, as, as a dad, I, as I said, I, I get a little nervous sometimes when he throws something out there, but 
he speaks his mind, and and he usually uh, is is pretty uh, pretty well thought out before he does that. Everybody, looking forward to his senior season, Coach. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the time this morning. Well, we're uh, we're all uh, looking forward to it. Uh, we just had our, our our picture with our whole family on the beach in Florida in, in LSU gear, nice. so we're nice. ready to roll. That's awesome, man. That's great. <laughs> looking forward to more conversation. Thanks for the time this morning.